Right, big news now coming in. United Kingdom has said that their intelligence has discovered that the Gaza hospital bombing, remember that had happened, and in the parking lot where we had seen uh, destruction too. And according to Palestinian authorities, uh, about 500 people have lost their life. But UK intelligence says that uh, it is clear from our intelligence that missile that struck the hospital came from Gaza itself. The allegations and the claims were that it was Israel's airstrike that had killed the Palestinians and launched that missile. But now Sunak, who is the Prime Minister of uh, United Kingdom, Rishi Sunak has said the missile was launched from within Gaza and hundreds were killed as according to the Palestinian authorities they, they had said that it led to loss of life. So this is a big uh, statement coming in. Remember, of course, while countries in uh, the European world, specifically the United Kingdom, Germany, France, have stood by Israel and stood by the Jewish community at this hour, at the terror attack that had taken place on 7th October. But uh, with that, UK says that uh, their intelligence has discovered that it was a missile from within Gaza itself that had attacked the hospital and uh, not from outside, which is referring to not from Israel. So that clearly comes a shot in the arm, a boost for uh, for uh, Israel, even at a time, remember, yes, of course, UK has supported Israel, but listen into what exactly did Sunak say. On the basis of the deep knowledge and analysis of our intelligence and weapons experts, the British government judges that the explosion was likely caused by a missile or part of one that was launched from within Gaza towards Israel. The misreporting of this incident had a negative effect in the region, including on a vital US diplomatic effort and on tensions here at home. And not just the UK support, but also French, Prime, uh, French President Emmanuel Macron has decided to visit in person to Israel. And that visit is scheduled to today itself, remember, after US uh, President Joe Biden, UK Prime Minister Rishi Suna. Now, French President Emmanuel Macron is scheduled to arrive today in the next few hours. These are world leaders right in person, and that's a big message. Remember, it's not just about rhetoric. In person, they are saying that they support and show solidarity since the 7th October massacre of its people in Israel. And remember, those who were killed in Israel were not just Israelis, were not just Jewish, but they were also other nationalities and ethnicities who were killed.